everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel, Art and Graphic Design. I've been telling you, check out my Patreon, check out my TikTok, check out my Instagram. Let's get into the video. So today's video, I'm excited because I took inspiration. Well, I basically took the entire idea, but I told her first. My friend Viviana, she is the best. I will tag all her links below. Her channel is also amazing. And she recently did this where she looked back over logo designs throughout her career basically and she was very organized she had time frames i barely remember my time frames um but i'm actually going to go over all of my logos some most that i actually did for clients um just to like see the progression i've made into my career now so let's talk about it let's look at logos let's discuss and critique myself so i've definitely looked at older projects before on my channel i've made videos looking at older projects but i specifically just wanted to focus on logos for this one because it is really like a journey in branding design and i do that like all the time on my channel and i'm doing that you know for clients i'm not as focused in the freelance world as much anymore a lot more people are out there doing that in kind of a better way now <laughs> i'm definitely more focused on myself and my own work but i think it'd be really interesting to see the progression because now i do a lot of mock-up projects and just things for fun but let's talk about real stuff okay so i know i said it's for real clients immediately i go to fake but let me just start with one that i actually made in school and i don't think i've shared it before so i made a skincare brand for a design process class it was mostly focused in packaging design and stuff like that but i wanted to share the logo and the branding that i did for that just to kind of ease you into what i've been doing in my career and definitely like the direction i was always going in um, so I think this is a really good example of that. This logo that I have here is just like not exactly what I would do now. I don't hate it, but it's so typical of how I used to design, especially with like circles. I loved just like putting something in a circle and being like, yeah, that's a logo. That's not the direction I'm going now when it comes to logo design. Like just putting something in a circular shape doesn't mean it's a logo. But I think that kind of transitions well into the logos I was actually doing for my mom's business so that's kind of where i got started in freelance i started working for her and doing like little things and then i end up i ended up doing her branding which i'll show in a second yeah i just <laughs> i did the same thing so it's a great transition to talk about this i made all these little like circles for her that were for specific like courses and free downloads that were part of her stuff but yeah that's kind of where i got started i was kind of like her designer that was my first client so but yeah there's a lot of inconsistencies with that type of stuff i was using like watercolors and you know different circle sizes and just like not doing it exactly right i definitely was still learning and it has definitely progressed from there so especially with my mom's branding so again that was one of my first clients so her logo design just showing you here that was one of my first-ish projects with like real branding for her because she uses it everywhere and i'm still really proud of this one i feel like it does still capture my design aesthetic but still i was doing something for a client so it wasn't exactly me which is important you know if you're a freelancer if you're designing for people you have to think about what works for them you know not just you so that was kind of a long time ago now and i guess in the same era was when i was starting my youtube channel which again is like 2014 2015. i have gotten clients from having a channel having my own branding out there you know all of that having a platform so first few clients that i've worked with i've done like smaller projects not necessarily like logo design but then with the people i have done logo design with at the beginning phases it was very much client directed um they would come to me with an idea specifically and i would just execute it you know it wasn't really a lot of my like design input or my touch into it which was hard and kind of frustrating at the beginning i think when you're first starting out it's easy to kind of like just listen to the client and you're afraid to kind of put your own opinion in there and sometimes you, they just you know they come to you and they know you're not that experienced and so they can feel like they can push you around not in like a horrible way sometimes it can be bad but you know they just feel like they can just tell you what to do and you'll do it and i think now i'm definitely grown as a designer and grown as a freelancer and i know how to you know stick up for myself but also like i have an, a design opinion and a clear design aesthetic so when people come to me they're coming to me for my expertise not just to get something done in the past year i have done a few projects with clients that i really really love i feel like there's just so much gaps of space where i just like don't even know what i've done 
with who and I just I couldn't put it in like an organized timeline but my two recent projects are just so interesting to me so I would like to share them so the one I did was with a woman who has a massage business she has a whole business on like wellness and all of that and I just loved her aesthetic and I like she loved mine and we just matched perfectly and it was such a great collaboration we made something really great I think I made two different logo variations for her business and yeah I just am really happy with them I definitely still go toward that circular aesthetic when it comes to logo design but I do it in more subtle ways now you know and I I definitely do have to think about how it's going to fit in like certain aspects of business and design so yeah you kind of sometimes need to do a circle I mean obviously I love type based logos so that's what I work with I'm not always working with images and it's just it just works so um for this one i actually did have a little bit of an illustration that i pitched i think i've talked about this before in another video but we can talk about it again this was the illustration that i pitched for her it didn't end up working out with the brand it just didn't align but yeah it was kind of a, a fun process and this is what this is what i came up with and i think that was definitely different for me you know i always do like simple and i do like very similar things so it was exciting to do something different and here is that branding placed in her website and just how it looks for her and her business and i just think it looks amazing so next is also a kind of similar logo in a way the person who came to me was really excited about like what i've done recently so we kind of just matched up with that and um we took it to a different direction in terms of like color and stuff like that but yeah it kind of had the same feel and i loved this one too it worked perfectly for her business it was working with like youth very like age of the internet we had a whole meeting about that and it was just like completely on the same page you know <laughs> we talked about how things can look digital and look like they're for a certain generation and all of that aspect that goes into design so that was really fun um very colorful very exciting and yeah i'm hoping that she's happy with it i think she's using it now and <laughs> i like this one because it was similar to the other one also within the last year going back to my mom's business i still am doing stuff for her on the side too and i've recently created something for her i think it was in the last few years maybe two years ago i made her this logo for one of her like series things that she was doing and so it's like a course so i had like a title for it and um we created like a little logo and i think this is a great example of something not exactly being my design aesthetic but working for the client so i think it's like exactly what she needed and it's not exactly what i would do uh, like i wouldn't do it for myself right but not every client is you like other clients need other things so yeah that was definitely a challenge and i really liked it like i said i wanted to highlight my actual client work like real stuff but obviously i've done so much branding and logo design for myself passion projects videos things like that and you guys have seen it so you definitely see more of my aesthetic in my videos this is just stuff i've made outside of that and stuff i can't always share on video in the process of but it is really fun and <laughs> like i said i'm going toward a new direction with my branding so that's like real that's for my channel and all of my website and everything so things are changing and it's exciting so i hope you enjoyed this video it was very informative and i feel like you know it really shows a timeline of my work and my abilities and like i said like i'm just doing really what i'm interested in now like on my channel so that's where all my work is that's where that's my portfolio essentially so yeah i mean i hope that makes sense to you guys and I'm more focused on myself as an artist now more than ever, not so much as a freelancer, but I think it's good to go over your body of work and assess and, you know, remind yourself what worked, what, do what didn't work, and what could work in the future. Okay, so if you like this video, please give it a like. It really helps my channel out. I have not been getting, like, pushed out on YouTube. I don't even think my subscribers are seeing this, so hopefully if you saw this, you'll give it a like and let me know in the comments. What else do you want to see? And I'll see you in the next video. And I have so much coming up. And I'm a busy person. So let's get into this. Let's get into more videos. Okay. Bye.